Turning now to the world of cinema. Ten years after controversial film The Combination was released in Australia, its sequel is being met with a similar reaction. Both films candidly deal with the realities of daily life for ethnic and migrant kids growing up in Sydney. The first film was pulled from cinemas after being accused of inciting racial tensions between Anglo and culturally diverse youth, mainly of Lebanese background. Its follow-up, Redemption, hitting cinemas now, stars Australian Lebanese actor and scriptwriter George Basha. Employing culturally diverse actors, the film's goal is to provide an alternative to more commercial Australian media and cinema, and give a strong voice to Australian Australians of all ethnic backgrounds. In doing so, Basha hopes to shine a light on how the media fails to ethnically and culturally represent modern-day Australian society. To talk about what role his movies play in tackling racial tension in his country, George Basha joins me now. I mean, for people who might not know, can you please talk me through the central themes in these movies? Yeah, look, um, it deals with a lot of racism. Um, I believe in Australia we have a lot of racism that is pretty much always swept under the carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't want to talk about it. Um, politicians love talking about it, um, but I think mostly Australians, they kind of don't want to talk about it. So I thought, you know, for me, th themes in my film deals with racism, deals with, um, you know, uh, choices. I think people, you know, every day make choices and I think sometimes we make choices that are that are great and we make choices sometimes that are not so great and sometimes these especially the young generation can make a choice and sometimes that choice could lead them down a the wrong path could lead them to jail could lead them to to death could lead them to um you know and and I just think it is very important so my films really touch on reality on what's happening you know in Australia um in regards to to young, to our young generation, mm -hmm. to to racism, um, and you know, it's and it, it's it's all around the world. It's not just in Australia, but what I can you know make films about is Australia because that's where where I'm from and that's where I live and that's what I've grown up around. Mm -hmm. um, so they're very important, um, you know, uh, to me that I do talk about them to to be able to um, educate people that that don't know much about. Mm -hmm. You know, about the difference in ethnicities. You know, sometimes you're an ethnic Australian and you've got a white Australian and there could be, you know, a lot of racism there between them, but they don't understand each other. Mm -hmm. And I think my films do that when I talk about these subjects. But George, I'm sure a lot of people enjoy your movies and I know they do. But also there are some people who say that your movies, um, The Combination and The Redemption, incite racial tensions within Australia. What do you say to that? Look, um, look, it's it's like anything, you know. You, you make a film, and it's based on reality. And sometimes, you know, people want to question. You know, they don't want to talk about stuff that that are in your face and that are true. So they try to put this, you know, this garbage that I incite. Um, you know, like racism and controversy. But I mean, that, that's my life. I've grown up all around that. You know. And you know, I've said it to a lot of people that, that say that to me, and I say to them, if my life is controversial or it's inciting, you know, hatred, you know, it's garbage. It's a film. It's it's it deals with you know, Cronulla riots. We had we had riots here in Sydney, uh, 2005. There were riots, um, and Cronulla is pretty uh, white dominant, you know, Australian area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there was thousands of people that rocked up to a beach and wanted, you know. Uh, ethnics out or attacked ethnics or attacked anyone that wasn't white because they thought that Australia belonged only to the white people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if my films are inciting that sort of, you know, behaviour, I doubt it because, you know, that was in 2005. My film was made in 2009. Um, but I had written, I had written the script in 2001 of all the racist stuff that was in it um, because that was what was happening. But the problem is, in our country, we sweep it under the carpet. We say it was an alcohol fueled incident. In reality, you know, if you're drinking alcohol, then you're really saying what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. um, so I think what my films really do is they, you know, they open up dialogue. 
they open up, you know, they, they build a bridge and there's a bridge for discussion. You know, people can learn to understand each other, respect each other, and I think that's healthy. You know, I mean, when I, when I, my, my last film, The Combination, I had university students, uh, high school students that based their assignments mm -hmm. solely on my film to tackle racism in this country. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it does a lot more better than what, you know, these critics say. I, th I think it's garbage, personally. <laughs> so, I want to find out what legacy you want to leave as an Australian actor of Lebanese heritage. I mean, I suppose there aren't many role models when it comes to diversity in mainstream media in Australia at the moment. Do you feel like you could potentially be one? My legacy was always to help the new generation. You know, I've been watching, I'm a big film and television lover since I was a young kid. And in our, on our screens in Australia, Unfortunately, we don't show a lot of ethnicity on our screens. Like, you know, for example, you know, if you go to a hospital in Sydney, you know, you'd walk in, you'd see Chinese doctors, you know, uh, African doctors, Arab doctors, uh, you know, from all around the world. But when they show it on our screens, you know, it's just all white. And that's not reality of what Australia's about. Australia's a multicultural mm -hmm. country. So my legacy would be that I wanted to change the face of film in Australia. I wanted to also give young ethnic Australian, Australians a chance to know that they could chase their dream. They can do what I've done, go out and make films, tell their story, because I believe there's a lot of you know, um, people in Australia that want to become filmmakers that have stories to tell that aren't always white. And it is hard in this country if you're making a film that's not always white. And I think my legacy is that I've paved the way for this new generation of filmmakers to come through because if I can do it, you know, they can believe that they can do it because I'm, I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, best of luck with that and thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.